Guys, I highly, highly, highly advise and suggest start auditing the excuses you're allowing yourself to believe. They just aren't true. And I've got zero respect for any excuse, for anything that's ultimately supposed to be pushing you forward, but you're allowing to hold you back. And those same excuses you use for anything are more than likely the same excuses you're using for everything. And man, for me, it's so easy to want to pull into, you know, Wendy's, say, oh, I'll grab a Caesar salad, right? And then two spicy chicken sandwiches, french fries, later. You never eat a salad at fast food. And you justify it, right? You justify it by, hey, I got a great workout in today, or hey, you know, I've worked hard today, or hey, I gotta get up early tomorrow, or hey, you know, it's late and I'm, I'm hungry. And all these justifications, you know, Tom Shea, when he talks about excuses, he talks about the fact that they're subtle, seductive, and believable. So, subtle, creeps in. Seductive. Think about the word seductive. And, you know, normally the way you use the word seductive is, you know, in some type of, like, romantic or, you know, whatever word you want to use for that. But if you think about seductive, seductive means that it's, that it, once it, once it creeps in, once it subtly creeps in, that it starts, you start thinking about it, you start visualizing it, right? So, so let's just use the, here's another excuse. This is stupid. This is stupid. Why am I doing this? This is stupid. This doesn't make any sense. So it subtly creeps in, subtle. And then the seductive part of it is, huh, this is stupid. Yeah, I don't need to do this. You know how good it's gonna feel if I don't do this? As soon as you flip that switch, it becomes believable. You're like, you're right. It would not be a good thing for me to go run today. It's not the best thing for me. Subtle, seductive, and believable. And so, you know, as we rolled up to the, to the hotel, I was thinking to myself, if not for this 75 hard challenge, there is not a chance, like it is literally an impossibility that I'd be out here right now walking for 45 minutes at 10.30 at night. And those same excuses that you use for anything carry over into every single area of your life. So guys, I just wanted to leave you with that. Think about those excuses that you're using for the small things. More than likely they're stopping you from doing big things so like the, the, if your why is strong enough then the how doesn't matter is what some people say yeah but. yeah and so but it's true because if the, if you don't have a strong why as soon as obstacles come in the way and you start to struggle you'll just crumble because it's not it's not built on anything solid but the reality is and i think andy Frisella was the first person that i heard really talking about this a lot and i've adopted it ever since this whole idea of do it anyway is the fact that nobody cares how you feel nobody cares how you feel if you said you were gonna do something, you go do it, period, end of story.